Oops, I muted your mic. Say it again. I just said thanks for having me. Uh, we're just so thrilled to have you, Ryan. Um, Ryan uh, is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to helping people buy and sell homes and loving on people. Uh, and then he, uh, when we put a microphone in front of him, he gets a little bit intimidated. Not a lot intimidated, but a little bit. Tell you what he doesn't get intimidated is when you put a listing agent in front of him and you're a buyer. He's legit. Okay, tell us what just, just anything you want to tell us. Like what is happening right now on the ground for home buyers? Yeah, I mean, obviously the last few weeks or even months, we've been kind of seeing somewhat of a release valve i'm sure that you've you've talked about here yeah uh and just softening of the market becoming a little bit more friendly for buyers now let me pause you real quick when you say softening people freak out so what do you mean by a softening of the market for buyers yeah just becoming a little more friendly right there it's you go. still a, still a seller's market uh but it has become easier for buyers to get offers accepted they have way more options that they've ever had or you know yeah, there's lots of inventory out there that's just sitting there. Just uh, a couple of days ago at a morning huddle, you were telling a story about a transaction that had multiple offers, 30 something thousand over at like that's still happening. Yeah, absolutely. but not every time, not every time. So recently uh, working with uh, a buyer who also is a seller. So they're looking to move and relocate um, here in North Dallas. And long story short, we were talking about, hey, it's a great time to do that. Probably a better time than ever. Because before you couldn't get contingent offers accepted, or it was a great time to sell your house, but impossible to buy, right? Or really, really difficult. And uh, just the flyover of that deal, uh, you know, we're looking at the sell side and saying, hey, it's probably going to be a little difficult because they had 10 or 15 homes in their immediate neighborhood. Similar homes, yeah. Similar, very, you know, some of them were pending, but a lot of them were just sitting there. Well, so that, so just to be clear, we won't say exactly where it was, but nor northern part of the Metroplex, nice neighborhood. Oh, yes. Production builder, like high end homes. Fairly home. similar, but lots of really nice high end homes that it's been a long time since there was 10 or more homes available in a neighborhood like that. And Absolutely. there was 12, 13, 14 homes mm -hmm. that, comparable to theirs. They're all different, but in the same category. Very nice. Yeah, and so they similar. were expecting that to take, you know, weeks, certainly maybe months. Some of them were 30 to 60 days on market. And we were like, you know, some of them went several weeks and some of them were still sitting there. And they were not expecting to get absolute top dollars. So what happened on that side? Yeah. So they were looking at price drops or a month or two on market. Obviously, we were confident we could do that better than anybody else. Right. Um, and so, but we knew it was gonna be difficult, right? And they were working with Jeremy on our yes. team, just to be very yes. clear on our team. Uh, Jeremy's a marketing specialist. John is a marketing specialist. They only work with sellers all day, every day. Mm -hmm. And these guys sell six or eight times as many homes as the average agent in Texas. Absolutely. So they're working with Jeremy. Go ahead. Yep. And so we set expectations healthy, but knew we were going to come in and crush this on the buy side. I said, Hey, you know, we've got a couple options. Um, but the good news is, is uh, contingencies or contingent offers are let me, pause, let right me pause you again and translate. Yeah. A contingent offer is have been like just non-existent in our market. What it means is, hey, I will buy your house if my house sells because I need the money from my sale to put into the, my purchase of your home, yep. right? And so for at least two years, I, I mean, I, I could count on less than one, I mean, maybe one or two contingent offers I've seen accepted in the last couple of years. And Absolutely. they were very unique situations mm -hmm. where the, this home that was being sold was not super desirable. Yep. So this is a fantastically desirable home that they're buying. And, but, but you told them in a market like this, I think we can get this done. Absolutely. Okay. Then what? Uh, and not only that, it was like right now you're seeing sellers, you've got a, you had, you had a, just a rush of inventory hit the market and we've got a lot in a lot of areas all across North Dallas or North Texas, you know, you've got homes sitting for weeks, if not 30 to 60 days. And that's just pretty common. Which, right which now. isn't the worst thing ever, no. but compared to where we were just four or five months ago for a lot of areas, that's four or five times as long on the market. And there's four or five times as many homes on the market. Mm -hmm. That's not the end of the world, but it is a dramatic difference. Yep. And so sellers are, are scared. They're, uh, you know, they're hearing stories of the media and all that. But, uh, but right now there's a lot of incentives being thrown at buyers from sellers, uh, with, uh, seller concessions or rate buy downs, or, Hey, I'll, I'll cover two percent, you know, percentage points for you or new builds are kind of the same way, right? Let me Builders stop, are let me stop again and incentives. just translate a little bit for yep. the average listener. What, what he's saying is primarily home builders are saying, 
Uh, if you buy one of our existing inventory homes, we will pay some of your closing costs or we will pay a portion of your loan costs so that your rate will come down back to where rates were when everything was fire. Not just builders, but sellers. Right. So se individual well. sellers are starting to do this as well. Not nearly as much as the builders and, and, and smart sellers with great homes are not desperate at all right now. But sellers with homes that are not perfect, that are not as ideal, are starting to offer some of these incentives. So basically, you were setting the expectation for these people mm -hmm. that between Jeremy and I, Jeremy and Ryan together, we will work together and we will sell your home and we will exceed the current market conditions and what your neighbors are dealing with. And then on the buy side, conditions are actually somewhat favorable for us, more so than in a long time. And what actually happened? Yeah, so on the buy side, we got... Um, we found a house that they loved and got it, it an offer accepted, thirty thousand dollars under asking. Time out. Thirty thousand dollars under asking in the year twenty twenty two is what you're saying. Absolutely. In a desirable neighborhood. Seems pretty good. Yeah. It's not just <laughs> seems legit. It gets better. Okay, go ahead. Um, not only that, uh, it was a contingent offer. Right. Meaning that we have to sell our house in order to buy this thing. And if we don't, we can back and out. And if we don't, we can back out all the way up until the day of closing and keep our earnest money Unreal. and walk away free and clean and sellers are pretty much hosed. Absurd. Now, to be clear, I, I know these clients personally and their, their, home, their existing home, their current home was already amazing, yep. right? So it's not like they were all that easy to please because they already had a wonderful home. They were trying to take advantage of some market conditions yep. and, and growing families and lives and all those things. But they found a highly desirable home mm -hmm. in a highly desirable area that is still competitive. Oh, very. And got... Got it for $30,000 below asking. Now, look, if you're a listener to this show, you know how I feel about asking. Asking can be very misleading. So, honest opinion, where do you think that lined up compared to like true market value? True They're market still got, value. We're still waiting on an appraisal, but they had already, yeah, I mean, it was, it was a it, heck of a it deal. It was a heck of a deal. Yeah. Absolutely. So, they saved a bunch of money on a gorgeous home that just four, five, six months ago probably would have had 15 offers yep. way over. Now, Let's play the devil's advocate here. Let's just say that all the cruddy headlines are accurate and, and home values might actually go down in the next year or two. Do you think they would care? No, because they, they love their home. And they want to be there and for a while. They want to be in that area, in that right? neighborhood that they couldn't. So if you live in Dallas, there. Fort Worth, and you, there's a neighborhood you've been in love with, and you've just been thinking, I know I can sell, but I don't think I could buy. I'd have to compete. I can't afford it. Now is probably the best time you're going to see in the last three to five years, let's just call it three years, and certainly maybe forever into the future. Because even if prices were to dip a little bit in our market, and in some pockets they have a tiny bit, in most areas, uh, prices have just sort of leveled out a little bit and they're climbing a lot slower, but they're still climbing. There's not really any logical reason to think the long-term future of Dallas-Fort Worth housing is going to go negative. People are still moving here. Corporate headquarters are moving here. We still have land. We have healthcare and travel and airports. We're centrally located. There's just a lot of favorable reasons that DFW is going to continue to grow. Heard so a really cool stat on that. You're talking about land. Yeah, go ahead. 51% of Collin County is still undeveloped. That's right. And not, not so much true crazy. for Dallas <laughs> County, but Collin, Collin County, Plano, parts Allen. Of Tarrant, yeah. McKinney, I and, mean, and all certainly of Rockwall like, and, and surrounding yes. counties. Yeah. So the, the the point we are trying to make is now is an incredible time if you want to sell and buy. If you want to do that with, in my opinion, the single best real estate team in the world, I'm a little biased. Come check us out and test it. Um, you get to work with incredible people like Jeremy and Ryan or John or David or Davis or Mari or Leah or Brandon. It, it's It's a team of people who have committed their professional lives to legitimately being world-class. And these results that Ryan is talking about, they're not normal in the current market, but they're possible in the current market. And why would you not pursue this incredible opportunity when it's possible? There's a lot of people waiting around and what they're going to wait for is higher prices and higher rates. And I believe our market's going to kind of rubber band back towards where we were before that may be later this year that might be earlier next year but we're not going to stay in this flat negative attitude yeah. the attitude right now is negative the market is 
not even flat. It's just slowly moving forward, way slower than it was, but still moving forward. Prices are still going up. But if you had that dream neighborhood or that dream house or that golf property or that lake property or a larger home or a larger lot, and you've been holding out on making the move because you were afraid of the buy side, tell them, Ryan. Yeah. So it gets even better just because uh, not only did we get the contingent offer accepted, typically, normally what happens is you need to be on the market with your listing, right? Or you need to prove you to need the to show seller. Them, hey, we've got offers in hand or we're through the option period. But, uh, but uh, we weren't we weren't even on the market yet. And the seller was like, yep. I like it. I like it. And then and what happened? And then what happened on the sell side? If he would have dug in a little bit deeper, he would have saw 10 or 15 homes sitting there for 30 to 60 days. And it probably would have caused some hesitancy on, do I really want to accept this? And it would offer? have cost your buyers some money to make yep, them to feel make comfortable. them feel comfortable. Absolutely. But, so, okay. So we were able to out, I was able to negotiate that. Well, right. We got it accepted. We weren't even on the market, told yeah, them we were going to yeah. crush it on the sell side. Then we do go, hit the market with our offer that week, or with our, with the, the sell. And, that, wh and what happened week. on the sales side? Uh, within a week, we had multiple offers. So there was, got, there's 10 plus homes in their neighborhood that have been on the market 30 and 60 days, some of them. Or some of them a few weeks or two okay. weeks or so, but great homes, like fantastic. Okay. So pinches. ours, only real unique differentiator is our marketing plan. Absolutely. Uh, so Jeremy kills it. In, in less than a week, what happened? They had multiple offers and it, obviously created a bidding war and, and went well above asking, which was fantastic. They so, were ready to actually settle on a on one offer that they got early in the transaction. And Jeremy counseled Absolutely. them to work it and negotiate yep. it, and they ended up with a lot more money. Yep. Um, so an asking price was a, was a strong, solid asking price, and we even mm. went over and above that. So we'll see where it appraises, but it'll be well over current market average even in this market that lots of headlines are saying is a down market. Or price drops market. and you're, yep. you know, whatever. So Not just know case. what's possible. If you're thinking about selling and you'd like to buy in a different school district, you'd like to buy a larger home, you'd like to buy in a nicer neighborhood, your opinion of what's nicer, of course. If you'd like to buy in a gated community, if you'd like to buy a smaller home and downsize, now is one of, if not the best time we've seen in years. And certainly we think this will be your best opportunity to buy for many, many years to come because values are continuing to rise. Even if they're rising more slowly, even if you're in one of these strange pockets where values have dipped a little bit, that's not going to last a long time. Our market is healthy, healthy our economy is healthy, our job market is healthier than almost any other place. We've got more opportunity coming and rates will not stay where they are forever. Mm -hmm. They will probably go up before they come down, but eventually, they are highly likely to come back down. You can refinance. You can, that part is movable. The ability to get a dream property is not. There's a lot of people that waited too long and the property of their dreams has, has moved out beyond them and they may never be able to reach it ever again. I don't see property values going down significantly in our market for a generation. I just don't. I have a friend, I can't say who, blah, 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 but works with one of the 25 wealthiest people in America that individual is individually investing in tens of millions of dollars of residential real estate in DFW because his personal opinion is if you want your children who are children right now, school age children right now, if you want them to own a home in DFW when they're adults, you may want to buy it now. That's his opinion. I, I, I'm not going to say I disagree. I certainly don't know yet that that's something you need to do, but that's the opinion. People are upset that big hedge funds and big venture capital funds are buying up hundreds and hundreds of properties around here. Well, they're not buying them because they think the value is going to go down. They're buying them because they believe in the long-term market strength of Dallas-Fort Worth real estate, and they're buying them all around town. So if you want to sell and buy, by all means, if you want to do just one, give us a call. But if you want to do both, now is your window. Absolutely. Now is a great window. Reach out to the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Call us or text us at 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Just save that in your phone. Call us or text us anytime you need real estate help at all. Or go online to toddtremontiteam.com. toddtremontiteam.com. If you forget that or can't spell it, Google Todd Tremonti, get as close as you can. You'll find us. You'll find over 600 Google reviews, lots of reviews about Ryan. You can call and request Ryan, or you can call and tell us your current situation, and we'll find the perfect agent for you and your area and your life stage and your needs and your personality and all those things. 
online at toddtremonteteam.com. Call or text 214-310-0008. 